Nearly a month after the death of George Floyd, our community continues to remember and to heal. One local faith-based organization is on a mission to bring that message of hope and unity to the Twin Cities. Dr. Sammy Wagnoni is the founder of Merge Twin Cities. Doctor, thanks for being with us. It's a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Tell us the story. How did Merge Twin Cities get started? Well, we started Merge Twin Cities four years ago. After we saw the need for hope and unity for our Twin Cities, we have uh, over 100 different nationalities represented here. And, uh, you know, this diversity is such a, a, a great part of who we are. And helping each other grow together, understand, uh, and grow together in unity uh, is so important. So that's why we started Merge Twin Cities. And, you know, and a lot has really happened over the past three months, obviously the mm -hmm. death of George Floyd and then the, the serious discussions about race in this community. How has that affected your organization and really your mission? You know, um, my heart goes out to the George Floyd family. Um, and as a nation, we're in the midst of a national discussion about racial injustice and cultural um, division. Uh, I, I believe we need to take this opportunity to have deeper conversations, to listen to one another, to learn from one another, and to grow together. Uh, only then can we unite as a community. And I believe now more than ever, people around the Twin Cities are hungry for hope. Our mission here is to help different cultures understand one another, feel empowered, and feel like they belong together as we create a future and can all share. It's a challenge, isn't it? I mean, uh, obviously, I think we've seen over the last several weeks this kind of uh, maybe a stronger emphasis or uh, an awareness of people of uh, understanding maybe how little they do understand about different cultures. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and it's a great opportunity really for us to, uh, to dive deeper. Now, I see a greater openness uh, for people to learn um, if, if uh, the demonstrations and everything that's transpired over the last uh, three, four weeks here um, has to say anything is, is the fact that we are all open at the moment uh, to confront our, 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 our issues, to talk together, to listen to each other and to come together as a people so that we can create a better future together. And part of what you're doing with Merge, the way I understand it, is, is trying to continue to foster those conversations if people want to take part there as a start how can they get involved in merge and in having those discussions well you know um uh, for one uh, you know i i came here from kenya and so i may not understand the full experience of our african-american uh, brothers and sisters um, but you know we are all in this together and one of the opportunities one of the ways we are doing that is really um helping people uh, you know, like through our social media channels like Instagram, uh, every Friday morning at 10, people can, uh, can uh, tune in uh, on our Merge Twin Cities Instagram page and hear different voices uh, from different cultural backgrounds. Uh, we are creating an opportunity for listening next Wednesday on the 24th. Uh, at 7 p.m., we have a, a forum where we have different leaders from across the Twin Cities that are coming together to listen to each other uh, and just to be present to mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, important work providing a forum for those conversations uh, outside of our own kind of spheres to be able to do that. Dr. Sammy Wignoni, thanks so much for being with us and for your work. We appreciate it. WCCO.com slash links has a lot more information on how you can get connected to Merge Twin Cities.